Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about how Flask maps URLs to view functions. In the previous lecture we talked about how uh, a request is made by the browser and whenever we made, make a request, that request is going to have a URL. The Flask server is going to grab the URL and look up our application. Through our application, it is going to find the URL and then check out what view function is associated with that URL, and it is going to call that uh, view function. But the actual process is a little bit more intricate and a little bit more technical. So what I'm going to do here is we have our code from our previous lecture, and in here, uh, we are going to dive into the um, uh, terminal. This is the server for this lecture. You can see that I've said python 5 dot how URL mapping works dot pi. So this lecture is on. Now I'm going to close the server using control C. So you can see the server is closed. I'm going to say clear. Let's bring this up. Now before actually ch doing anything else, I'm just going to change the name of this file and I'm going to remove the five point or five dot. I'm just going to remove that. Uh, now we are going to work within the Python um, integrated uh, Python interactive shell within the integrated terminal. So I'm just going to say Python. If you just say Python and you hit enter, you can see that you have three of these less than signs. When you have this sign, it means you are in the uh, interactive shell. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and it basically uh, tells you what is the uh, version, uh, at what date this version was downloaded and all that stuff. Now within here, what are we what we are going to do is we are going to import the current file so i'm going to say let's just copy the name of this just copy it just put that and i'm going to save it so basically we imported the current file what does the current file has have it has everything we did in our previous lecture so we basically imported that here and next up uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this app object which we have created right here uh, and this app object has something, an attribute, which is very unique. And that is URL underscore map. And that attribute has actually the job of mapping a URL to a view function. So let's take a look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say how I'm going to provide the name of this module and I'm going to call the app object. And upon the app object, I'm going to grab the URL underscore map let's save that let's just zoom in a little bit more you can see we have a map object which is which resembles a tuple inside the tuple we have multiple elements and these are the elements that we have created now we have our um, view count we have our uh, view count url which is a page awesome url which is a page was it awesome or this is, I'm just going to change it to cool. The reason that it is awesome is because uh, I've actually changed some stuff from the lectures that I've prepared for this project. So I'm just going to exit from here just one more time. I'm going to say Python and I'm going to say import this and I'm going to say uh, this dot app dot URL. So this is an attribute. And now you can see we have view count, we have cool, and we have the other, uh, we have uh, the root, and then we have the static. We are going to talk about the static, don't worry. Now, what do we have here? We have each of our URLs, and we have which uh, view function they are mapped to. So if the view count URL is called in the browser, what the Flask server does is it is going to look up this URL within this map object, within this map um, tuple, it, it, within this map function, I think uh, that is a better name to call it, within this map object, and then it calls the corresponding view function. So you can see it doesn't really have to like take a look at, okay, this is, here is the URL, I have to call this one. It has a directory, it has all the map, all the uh, view functions along with the URLs within this tuple. Everything is in one place and the only thing the Flask server is going to do again is let's say you are calling slash cool URL in the browser. You're making a request to this. 
then what the Flask server does is within this tuple, it is going to look for that URL. When it finds it, it is going to uh, call the accompanying or the corresponding view function. What you have, what you can see in here, this get head options, these are the HTTP. Uh, these are the HTTP um, um, uh, methods that this specific view function can support. So each view function can support certain HTTP methods or HTTP functions. So like this get heads and options, this can support that. We have our we have these two page two page uh, cool is page two view count is our page number three. We have our slash which is the main page, which is mapped to the welcome view function, and then we have our slash static file name. Now this slash static file name, this is going to be the last item of the tuple in any Flask application. And it points to a function called static. There we go. It points to a function called static. And it will serve all the files under this directory. Now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create that directory static. Now it is called static for a good reason because everything that you provide within this directory, it is going to be static. It's not going to change. So what do we provide within that folder? We provide our images, our CSS files, and our JavaScript files, if we have any. So these files, they're considered static files. They will be provided within the static folder. We are going to fill this up with a lot of images and CSS files. Don't worry about it. So for now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to grab, I have an image, which is a bird image. I'm just going to copy that. So let's just copy it. And in here, uh, I'm going to just bring this down. I'm going to open this up. So within the static, I'm just going to put that here, paste it. All right. So now if we go to our static, you can see we have that, that image for that bird. The reason that I put that there is because that's what comes within the static folder. Remember, the, always this is always going to be at the end of every uh, Flask application. And um, this, again, the static view function, its job is to serve the image that we just inserted to a URL which is mapped to this specific uh, view function. So if we try to access that URL, we should be able to see the image. So let's get out of here. I'm just going to say exit and I'm going to say clear, let's clear everything. And I'm going to say Python. Um, let's just pass in the name of this file. Let's run this server. Let's pass that there and let's say pi. So I'm going to refresh this page. There we go. We made a request. Beautiful. So in here, I'm going to say static. Then what is the name of that image? Bird.jpg. Hit enter and there we go. We basically got that. So this image is actually being served from this URL. And we know how this URL is being mapped to its static view function. We have not created that view function. Keep that in mind. We have not created that static view function. Let's zoom out of here and I'm going to bring this down so you can see we don't have that static view function here. But what we have is a Flask application that created that on its own. And whenever you call that within the that tuple that we just take, uh, took a look at and we talked about it a lot, it is going to apply or it is going to call the accompanying or the corresponding view function for that static that we, that we saw there. So everything, so if I come up here, there we go. So this is our tuple. So everything that we are trying to look at is going to be within this tuple. So all the URLs are going to be within this tuple. And um, so this is how Flask maps URLs to view functions. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.